My name is Dan Romano, and I'm one of the lawyers on the team of Calman Samuels Attorneys. I'm sending this video out to you during this strange time of COVID-19 and the government lockdowns. We're living through very strange times in terms of pandemic, but also in terms of laws and regulations. And many people have been questioning them. People question, well, how is it that we can get fined for walking along in a park? What, does, what difference does it make if I'm outside of my home after 8 p.m.? How can that be affecting anything? How can the government be passing these laws? If you go to Canadian Tire right now, you can buy an extension cord, but you can't buy a USB cord. You have to walk back out, order it online, wait 30 minutes, and then you can go back to the very same store, and the same clerk who sold you the extension cord will then be able to give you the USB cord that you ordered online. Same thing happens with winter clothes. If you go to L'Equipeur, for example, I know because I went there myself to buy clothes for a friend who was under quarantine. He needed gloves. You can buy work gloves, but you cannot buy winter gloves. They might be right beside one another. One is legal, one is not. You might find these laws strange, and some of you might think that they don't go far enough. That's okay. That's a matter of opinion. What we're here to try and explain is how the government has the legal right. By what right can they make those laws? I won't give you the full explanation here on the video. If you'd like to know, basically click on the link down below to read our very short article, very easy, where we explain it all. I'll just give you a brief summary right now. In terms of democracy, we have democracy means government by the masses. We don't have a democracy. We have a representative democracy where we elect representatives who basically legislate for us and are members of parliament and make the laws and govern. These representatives passed a law in 2001, two laws actually that allowed them in times of emergency to change our government for a limited period of time into basically a dictatorship where the premier can dictate the laws and we have to obey. That is the law of the land. This comes from the old Roman system where they had senators who would vote and it would be oversight. But whenever there was a national emergency, such as an earthquake or a war, they would elect a dictator to be more efficient and make decisions more quickly. This is what Julius Caesar's role was. He was elected as a dictator for several times, for short periods of time, to dictate how things would be done. So that's what's been going on, and that's why these laws are coming up very quickly, very spontaneously, and why whatever we may think of them, for the moment, until they're reviewed by the courts, they are perfectly legal. I hope this has been helpful. For more information, go ahead and click on the link. And if you ever have questions, you're welcome to call us. We are open during this time, and we're available to help you with anything that you may need. Dan Romano for Calvin Samuels. Thank you very much.